In this video, we are going to discuss about register organization of 8086 microprocessor. Uh, we know that 8086 is a 16-bit microprocessor. 8086 is a 16-bit microprocessor. That means here the microprocessor performs operations on 16-bit data. So, the size of each register is 16 bits. The size of a register in 8086 microprocessor is 16 bits. Now, let us see the various types of registers that we have in 8086 microprocessor. So, the first one is segment resistors. Segment resistors. The first type of register is segment resistors. And the second one is general purpose resistors general purpose resistors third one is offset resistors third one is offset resistors whereas the fourth one is flag resistors so in a in a086 the resistors are mainly classified into four types segment resistors general purpose resistors offset resistors and flag resistors okay Already a video was uploaded on the flag register. I will share that link in the description as well as comment. So please go through that link in order to have knowledge on flag register. So in this video we are going to discuss the first three resistors. So first let us see the first one. First one is segment resistors. Segment resistors. So the size of each resistor is what? 16 bits segment resistors mainly we have four segment resistors are there the first segment resistor is code segment resistor code segment code segment resistor in short uh, we can call as cs whereas the second one is stack segment resistor stack segment resistor in short we can call as SS. Third one is data segment resistor. Data segment resistor. In short, we can call as DS. Whereas the fourth one is extra segment resistor. Fourth one is extra segment resistor. In short, we can call as ES. Here, these segment resistors are mainly useful in order to maintain the segmentation purpose. Generally here uh, the microprose the main memory the main memory will be divided into various parts where each part is called as segment in 8086 microprocessor the size of your data register is 16 bits whereas the size of uh, let us erase these lines whereas the size of uh, address register the size of the address bus is 20 bits. The size of address bus is 20 bits. So, the main memory can store 2 power 20. 2 power 20, 20 bits means the main memory can store up to 2 power 20. We know that 2 power 10 means uh, uh, 1024 uh, kilobyte. 1 megabyte is equal to 2 power 10. That is 1024 kilo, uh, uh, kilobytes. Whereas 2 power 20 means 1 megabyte. So, 2 power 20 means 1 megabyte. So, here the main memory can store up to 1 MB of data. The maximum capacity of the main memory is 1 megabyte. So, here this is main memory that is physical memory. So, main memory is divided into various segments, various parts where each part is called as a segmentation. So, the size of the main memory is 1 MB. 1 MB. Here totally we can store here the size of each segment is 64 kilobyte, 64 kilobyte. The size of each segment is 64 kilobyte. 64 kilobyte into 16 is equal to 1 megabyte. So, 1 megabyte is equal to 16 into 64 kilobyte. So, here the main memory can be divided into 16 segments where the maximum size of each segment is what? 64 kilobyte. Okay. Here we are dividing the main memory into 
four parts okay if we want we can divide the main memory into 16 segments 16 parts but here for simplicity that means only for storing the segments uh, we are dividing the main memory into four parts so this is the first part the first segment let the first segment is a core segment core segment so let it be core segment let the second segment is stack segment stack segment let it be data segment data segment and the last one is extra segment okay extra segment code segment is mainly useful in order to store the code that is in order to store the program that is currently executing by the microprocessor whereas stack segment is mainly useful for storing the subroutines subroutines are nothing but functions so in order to store subroutines or uh, we can call functions as procedures also or sub program in order to store subroutines or procedures stack segment is used we know that stack works on the principle of last in first out last in first out means lifo so this is also called as lifo lifo segment okay so stack segment is useful for storing subroutines or procedures whereas data segment and the extra segment are useful for storing the upper end for storing the data add a comma b so a may contain some value b may contain some value those values will be available in data segment and extra segment okay here the start here uh, the starting address here is uh, uh, here what is the size of the address bus 20 bits but here we are using the hexadecimal notation so each digit represents 5 bits each i am sorry each digit represents 4 bits so 4 into 5 means 20 bits so totally here the starting address here is 5 zeros so 5 zeros so first zero represents 4 bits second zero represents 4 bits third zero 4 bits so 4 into 5 means what 20 whereas the maximum address is maximum address is f f f 5 f's 5 f's 5 f's where each f represents what is f f means 15 15 means how to represent 15 in binary notation four ones so four ones so four into so five f's are there four into five means 20 bits so that is the size of the address bus so here the main memory ranges from five zeros to five f's here we can use h also h represents hexadecimal notation some addresses okay now let us see the advantages of these these registers code segment register always contains the starting address of the code segment let the starting address of the code segment is 1 2 3 4 5 5 words so code segment register this code segment register contains starting address of the code segment so what is the starting address of the segment 5 ones so th those 5 ones will be stored in what code segment register next register is uh, i am sorry what is the next register stack segment register stack segment register stack segment register contains starting address of the stack segment let the starting address of the stack segment is five ones five ones so now stack segment register contains this address it points to this address okay we know what is a register register is useful for storing the data here with the help of the register we are storing the address so various data segment register contains starting address of the data segment let the starting address of the data segment is five threes so data segment uh, register contains this five three likewise extra segment register contains starting address of this segment let here the address is starting address is five fours so now extra segment register contains five fours information so this is about uh, segmentation registers okay now let us see the uh, second type of register that is uh, general purpose registers 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 are useful for temporary calculations 
So in order to store the temporary data, we use the general purpose registers. Now let us see the general purpose registers. So here we have uh, four registers are there. Uh, we can classify that into two parts. We can divide that one into two parts. AH, AL, AH, AL. And the second one is BH, BL. Third one is CH, CL. Fourth one is DH, DL. Here A stands for accumulator. A stands for accumulator. H stands for higher order bits. Higher order bits. Higher order bits. Here the size of AH is 8 bits. AL means accumulator. Accumulator. Lower order bits. Lower order bits. So the size is 8. So here it will have uh, uh, so 0 to 7. Next from 8 to 15. So the size of each register is 15 bits only. So the, it, it can, here the combination of AH and AL is called as AX. So this accumulator uh, register is divided into two parts. So the AL means lower order bits, whereas AH means higher order bits of the accumulator. Okay. Whereas B stands for base register. Base register. So BH stands for base register higher order bits. Higher order bits. The size is 8 bits only. So BL stands for uh, uh, base register lower order bits. Base lower order bits. So base higher order bits. The combination of BH and BL is called as BX. The size of AX is what? 8 plus 8. 16 bits only. The size of BX is 16 bits only. So base higher order bits. Base lower order bits. Whereas C means count, counter. C means count. So it is mainly useful for counting purpose or we can call it as counter also. Okay. So counter higher order bits 8. Counter lower order bits 8 bits. A combination of CH and CL means what? CX 16 bits. So DH means D here D is called as data. Data. So data register higher order bits. So 8 bits. Data register lower order bits 8 bits. Combination is DX. So it is divided, it is, if you combine, then what is the size? 16 bits. Here we can perform operations on either 16 bit or 8 bit also. So if we want to perform operation on the 8 bit, then we can use AHAL like that. Whereas if we want to perform operations on 16 bits, then AX, BX, CX, DX are usable. Here accumulator is called as default register. Accumulator is called as what? Default register. Why because, why because we know that uh, the brain of the CPU is arithmetic logic unit. Arithmetic logic unit is the brain of the microprocessor. Any instruction is executed by ALU only. ALU performs operations on two resistors. The first resistor is from accumulator resistor, whereas the second resistor may be from base register or uh, this counter register or uh, this data register okay so that's why we can call this as default register why because alu performs operations on two registers or two operands but one operand must be from accumulator and the second operand may be from uh, may be from another register okay and after performing the operation the result is also transferred to the accumulator register after performing the operation the result is going to be transferred to the accumulator register so that's why we can call accumulator as default register. Okay. So this is about uh, general purpose registers. Now let us see the third one. That is uh, offset registers. Offset registers. Offset registers. The first one is IP. IP stands for instruction pointer register. Instruction pointer register. The second one is SP. SP stands for stack pointer register. Stack pointer register. Third one is BP. BP stands for base pointer register. Here these registers, these three registers can also be called as pointer registers. 
these three registers can also be called as pointer registers instruction pointer stack pointer base pointer registers can also be called as pointer registers next one is si si means source index register source index register and the last one is di di means destination index register destination index register now let us see about instruction pointer register here in this is all these registers are here uh, let us see one more point these two registers can also be called as index registers source index register destination index register so we can classify we can name these two registers as index register whereas these three can also be called as pointer register here all these five registers are offset registers offset register means an offset of the segment that means a particular location within that segment okay a particular location within that segment now let us see about instruction pointer instruction pointer is an offset within the code segment a particular location within the code segment here what is the address 31111 uh, so next next one is uh, let the next address is 31112 so let ip points to 31112 so 31112 is nothing but ip ip means an offset of the code segment a particular location a particular line number within the segment so likewise sp means offset within the stack segment sp means offset within the stack segment a particular location within the stack segment base pointer means uh, uh, it may be an offset of data segment or extra segment base pointer means an offset within the data segment or extra segment whereas source index means an offset within the data segment source index means an offset within the data segment next destination index means an offset within the an offset within the this what is the last one extra segment okay so bp means an offset of either data segment or extra segment whereas si means an offset of the data segment whereas di means an offset of the uh, extra segment uh, so this is the third type of register that is offset register whereas the fourth one is flag register so we have totally nine flags are there out of nine flags six flags are conditional uh, code flags whereas the remaining three flags are uh, control flags uh, so about flag register already a video was uploaded i will share that link in description as well as comments so go through that link in order to get idea on the flag register so this is about register organization of 8086 microprocessor so this is about register organization of 8086 microprocessor